first video is about the determination of your molar mass of a solute um, based off of the colligative properties uh, that we've talked about previously. The reason that's incorporated here is we use our colligative property constant for freezing or boiling and we use our change in temperature because of adding that solute to the solvent um, which is going to have an impact either increasing or decreasing the melting point or the uh, freezing point or boiling point or freezing point of your solution. So your molar mass of your solute, if you're looking for that, you don't know what it is, you're searching for it, it's not like you could just look it up on your periodic table, so just give an actual raw data. Your molar mass of your solute is equal to the mass in grams of your solute times your Kf or Kb of that solvent that you're using divided by your change in temperature of either freezing or boiling times the mass in kilograms of your solvent. In kilograms here, because the unit in your Kf is kilograms of water. Okay? So whatever your uh, unit is in your K, those have to cancel out with your other units because you want to end up getting grams uh, per mole and that mole comes from your K value because you have that one molar in the bottom. So for example three, in your packet, um, it says sulfur but that's a, a typo in there. It should say um, MD which is Mendelevium. Okay? It tells you that you have uh, your grams of solute are 1.8 grams of MD. Your grams of your solvent is 100 grams of naphthalene, um, and that is, I believe, what they put in mothballs, has a naphthalene compound, and that's C10H8. Um, 100 grams we need to convert to kilograms because that is our mass of our solvent. So 100 divided by 1,000 is 0.1. Our Kf uh, for our solvent of naphthalene is 6.9 degrees Celsius kilograms of naphthalene per one mole of MD and then or per one mole of our solutes and then my change in F we have told is 0 0.48 degrees Celsius. Then I plug in all these values into my molar mass equation of gram solute times Kf divided by change in temperature times kilograms of solvent. So I have 1.8 grams of MD times my 6.9 Kf degrees Celsius kilograms naphthalene divided by one mole of solute divided by my 0.48 degrees Celsius times my 0.1 kilograms of naphthalene. When I plug all this into my calculator, I get 258.8 grams per mole. And I go on my periodic table and I check, and in fact, this is the molar mass. So I know I've done it right. Go ahead now and try practice problems three and four. For practice problem number three, you should get the answer of 32.02 grams per mole, and you want to check to see what element is that. Uh, for number four, you should get 62.8 grams per mole. Now, this isn't an element. Um, solutes, remember, can be compounds, like sodium chloride is a compound. Um, so you might want to see what this compound is, see if you can figure it out, use a little math to see that. 